Okay. <clears throat> Um, welcome again. Now that we know what the integers, all right, we know what the integers, it's a good time to have a look and then compare them. Uh, to compare integers, we will uh, have to draw a number line. To draw a number line, we know integers um, are negative numbers or um, uh, yes, are negative numbers or opposite of natural numbers, zero. A natural number themselves so it's like coming from somewhere in negative numbers and then have a negative 3 there negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 3 4 etc so these are what we call what we call integers this is what we saw so these are integers Okay, now you see they are increasing by 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Plus 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3, 4, etc. So they are going that way. So we can represent the integers on a number line. And from there, we can compare them. Okay, so this is the number line I'm talking about. I'm talking about this as a number line. So now let me write the heading here. Number number line, which is means a number, a, a line which is uh, written some numbers. So this is the number here. This is the line here. I'm talking about this line here. And I talk about this. I'll talk about this. This is the line I'm talking about. Um, so this number line is having zero at the middle here. So here we have zero. Okay. And we have some number in the right hand side. So this is zero. Divide this number line into two parts. To divide it into left hand side part from here and into right hand side part so we have two parts left hand side this side and right hand side let us use blue to write the left hand side oh so oh no the right hand side so we have intervals equal intervals okay i'm going to try my best to put the intervals uh, that seems to be not that much better okay let me take this so we have we have equal intervals yeah okay it is like this like this like this okay equal interval mm -hmm. might be one centimeter apart you can use your ruler make sure that they are they are equal 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 from this point to this point should be equal to this point to this point to this point so here we write one we write two three four five six seven etc so they go on. So the right hand side here, these are positive. They are positive, shortly written and like this. And we don't put this sign behind them because when we leave them like this, it means that they are positive, right? So we are going to look at the right hand side. I mean, the left hand side, I'm going to present this by uh, this uh, uh, this color so these are the left hand side I put them here I put a mark one centimeter apart just the same way I did in the right hand side all right here we are and then so we put this is negative one this is negative two negative three negative four negative five 
negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, etc. So we have positive and negative. So these are negative. And they are represented by, by um, this symbol, negative. So that is what we have. These are other, other integers. Integers in the left hand side are negative. We are here. Left hand side. We are here. Right hand side. So we have just shifted these. We have shifted what we know. We have shifted these to the number line. Simple, huh? So it looks clean now. Now we want to compare them. Okay, to compare is to look at this, look at this, look at this. So we better start from the positive because that is what is common, what we know. Um, that look at one and look at two. Okay, look at those two numbers. Look at this one and look at this two. Okay, we know that one is bigger than two. One is bigger than two. All right. So if one is bigger than two, look at their position. You see that one is in the left. One is to the left of two. So two is to the right here. Two is to the right of one. When you look at this, so one is smaller and it is to the left. All right. Let us look at three. Okay. Compare now three and two. So see two is oh come on. One is not bigger than two. Well, man, you got to raise your hand. One here is smaller. One is smaller than two, all right? So two is also smaller than three, okay? Two is smaller than three. But when you look at two, compare now these two, when you see, you see two and three, find that two again is to the left of three, okay? So here one is to the left, of two and again here there's another guy you see that two is to the left of three now see it is left of three and three is bigger is left of two and two is big so the number which is bigger is to the right of the number which is small all right now let us shift it to this part zero and one this is neutral now zero and one zero is smaller than one if you don't have anything and you have one that one is bigger now you see one is to the right of zero so zero is also again zero is to the left of, of one okay so if we move now we compare zero and negative one okay zero and negative one you don't have anything but you have to give away one. Someone have to give away one while you don't have anything. So if you don't have anything, it means you're better off than someone who is to give away one. Again, you see that negative one is to the left of zero. So you see, it means that zero is bigger than negative one. You better don't have anything. If you don't have anything, it's better than if you have to give away one. You have given. You are better off than this guy who must give away one. So if you move again, negative two and negative one. Eh? Negative two and negative one. Compare this. Got to give away two, somebody have to give away one. Who is better off? The one who is to give away one is better off than the one who is to give away two. All right? So, what we conclude here is, uh, when we compare, we see that on a number line, 
or if we compare integers because we don't have anything between here if these are integers we'll say that the integer which is to the left of another integer is smaller than the integer which is to the right of it mm. integer when comparing if you can write this as our conclusion when comparing two integers When comparing two integers, okay, the integer which is to the left is smaller which is to the left is smaller than that which is to the right Of it. Okay, if you have to compare two integers, okay, the integer which is to the left is smaller than that which is to the right of it. That is what we can conclude. All right. So there are symbols we use to compare symbols. Symbols use the to compare. Compare, okay. To compare integers, you can say symbols which is to compare integers. Okay, well, these symbols let me underline this. This is, this is a very important heading, and this line I mean, this part here is very, very enough to learn those symbols which is to compare. So, we have this we have uh, first of all, we have this which is we we'll say this is if we compare two numbers one to the right and one i mean one to the left and one to the right we we'll say that this number to the right to the to the left is greater than the number to the right so when it opens to the to the left okay if there is a number here and there is another number here we we'll call this number one and number two where it opens, you see that number one is greater than number two. Here we say, and one is greater than n two. So it opens like this. Okay, but if it opens this way, when we have n one and then this way n two. Here we say that n1 is smaller than n2. So you see n1 is still to the left, n1 is still to the left, but look at this symbol, it have changed. This symbol's uh, uh, opening to the left, and this time it is open to the right, which means where it opens, this number is bigger than where clauses so n2 is greater than n1 or n1 is less smaller than n2 all right um we are going to have the similar but which carries different meaning for example if we have n1 this way n2 and we have n1 this way n2 so when we have this bar below this symbol these are called the inequality symbols inequality symbols we are going to meet them now and then oh, so n1 is greater or equal to so here it was just a greater but here because of this bar down it is greater or equal to so we say n1, n1 is greater or, oh, come on, n1 is greater or equal to, and here I'll say n1 is smaller or equal to. 
n2 equal to n2 so that is it n1 is smaller or equal to n2 it will open to this direction to open to n2 it means n2 is greater and n1 is greater or equal to n2 it opens towards n1 so that's that is it this is how we compare all right now let us try to look at some numbers and compare them before we call it a day um, let us try to look at this okay Now compare this, compare integers, compare negative 7, okay, compare negative 7, use this, this, uh, this, that, uh, this, or this, to compare. Integers. Okay, so number one, uh, negative seven dash negative one. Number two, zero dash negative ten. Number three, uh, one dash uh, zero. Number four. Um, ten dash negative fifteen. Okay, we compare. All right. So uh, let us have number five as well. Number five. Um, like twenty dash uh, 20 dash 40 okay 20 40 if, if you consider counting ta -ta -ta, you see if you reach 20 before reach 40 so 40 is to the right of 20 and therefore this is going to be greater. 20 is greater. 20 is less than 40. So 40 is greater than 20. Okay, it's going to be like that. Um, and the, let us look at this. Negative 7 and negative 1. Negative 7 and negative 1. So you have to give away 1. Someone have to give away 7. Oh my God. This guy have got a big job to do compared to this one here. So this guy, negative one is greater than negative seven. Negative one is to the right of negative seven. So I leave these three for you to do, and please make sure that you do them correctly. All right, and I'm going to add number six here. Number six is, um, is, negative 7 is negative 6 dash uh, compare this to compare this to to negative 1 times 6 Compared to that. So this is what task you are going to do. You are going to do this and hope you will do it right. Thank you for watching.